Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new week on House of Games. It's a festive special. Uh, I hope you had a lovely Christmas. I have no idea what day of the week it is. Do you? I never tell around this time of the year. What I can tell you, it's day one uh, on a week of House of Games. Now, here's a question for you. What has eight legs, has won BAFTAs, sold 10 million records, won the Taskmaster Trophy and been in a Bond movie? I'll tell you, it's this week's contestants. One of them at the end of the show, is winning this trophy here, sort of like the normal trophy, but with some winter berries on it. I mean, it looks pretty bad at the best of times. Um, <laughs> shall we meet our players this week? They are Harry Judd. Hello. Demasola Icamello. You, Dennis. And Kerry Godleyman. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. Um, Harry, uh, Hello. lovely to have you on. You're our first member of McFly on the show. We're Finally. Probably, probably first and last. Come on, I want all of them on. Really, all of yeah, them? Yeah, of course. Let's do a McFly special. Oh. Because then I might listen, have a chance of winning. Like, the producers have literally <laughs> just gone, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to hear anything apart from McFly special from Richard now for a year. Um, how are you as a quizzer? Uh, I'd say average to poor. Excellent. Um, yes. That's, but that's what we like. Bemisola, do you think there's going to be some competitiveness this week between uh, these four? Who have you got your eye on? Uh, I have my eye on Hugh, yeah. but uh, I'm very competitive, yes. but always lose. Oh. So it's this, it's really. Are you a bad, bad loser? I'm, I, I can mask it well. Okay. But I will secretly be sort of really annoying. You are literally just describing everyone's Christmas they've just had. <laughs> <laughs> now, Hugh's been on before, not only been on before. He's won. He's a champion. Uh, How about yeah. that? He's got a trophy. That's intimidating. Yeah, but then I lost for, very badly in the champions. In the champion of champions. Yeah, in the y champion y champions. You, in life, you've got to find your level. No, I know. Haven't you? I know. <laughs> and you've come back down. <laughs> no, come back come down. Back down. Exactly. He wants a Christmas trophy to yeah. add to his collection. He's, he's come back down to the non-leagues. Yeah. He's gone, with my, what, with my knees? Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't run can't 90 minutes. It. I can't sustain it. Yeah, exactly. Know, Kerry, you've been on before as well. You won a day. You got yourself a prize. Well, you said that very. That's good. You tried really hard to not sound patronising, and you found. Oh no! You only won because a day. I. You won a only day. because before the show, you were telling me how you don't understand any of the rules to anything. No, I was really bad at the beginning, and then I sort of pulled it back yeah. like midweek. But I was really bad. I remember getting a lot of tweets like, "Is she all right?" Kind of tweet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm optimistic this time. I'm, there exactly. might be some improvement. Um, listen, we've all just had some terrible presents. Talking of terrible presents, here are today's prizes. Anyone who wins today can take home one of these. <laughs> we have got the festive onesie, the festive slippers, the toolbox, the panettone, or the cocktail shaker. Kerry, what do you fancy? I like the cake tin. Yeah, come on, cake Love tin. Love a cake tin. Uh, Hugh? Well, I quite fancy the big orange jumpsuit, you think? Yeah, big orange <laughs> jumpsuit, that's it. Uh, Bemasola? Gosh, I think I want the cake. Yeah, I'll, I'll use the tin for, like, sewing stuff later. Why don't you have the cake and we'll give the, uh, the tin to Kerry? Yeah. There we go, perfect. But I'm, I'll use it for, like, little knick-knacks. Yeah, just... Yeah. Love a tin. That's a knick-knack tin, isn't it? That's a knick-knack tin. Uh, Harry? I'll take the slippers, please. Slippers, there Are you we giving go. them out or do we have to win them? Oh, you have to win them. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> shall we do it? Let's get on and play House of Games, shall we? Every time I press this buzzer, a new round comes up. I never know what it's going to be. You never know what it's going to be. I don't know the questions. Often they don't know the answers. Shall we play House of Games? Rhyme time is our first round of the week, as so often. Fingers on buzzers, please. Right. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, Just get yourself yeah. comfy. <laughs> Adrenaline's kicked in. Yeah, look oh, at this. Is, I love to see the stretches. <laughs> that is great. Two questions at a time. The answers rhyme with each other. Here's your first two. First name of Midlands comedian surnamed Carrot and animated character also known as the Friendly Ghost. Yes, that's Harry. Jasper and Casper. Jasper and Casper. First point of the week goes to Harry. Well played, Harry. Jasper Carrots and Casper the Friendly Ghost. Next two. Stage musical in which Craig Revel Horwood has played Miss Hannigan and regular BBC New Year's Eve TV show hosted by Jules Holland. That is Kerry. I've done, I've done what? OK. OK, OK. I know the answer to one, and I oh, thought right. I'd sort of get the other while I talked. Yeah. And yeah. that hasn't happened. Which one do you know the answer to? Annie. OK. You know the second one, don't you? Hootenanny. 
So the answer's Annie, are... Annie and Hootenanny. <laughs> Annie and Hootenanny. Oh, so my strategy works. It's correct. Yeah. Oh, we'll work it out. I once don't the think buzz you can, buzz. <laughs> can keep doing that strategy though. <laughs> 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 See how. <I'm>... Yeah. <laughs> Listen, there'll be other strategies. Okay. <laughs> uh, next two. Who is this? And what is this? Yes, that's Harry. Lee Mack and a piggyback. Lee Mack piggyback is the right answer. Well played. Next two. 1990 film in which the McAllisters go on holiday without Kevin. And John Rambo and Rocky Balboa actor. Yes, Bemmy. <laughs> um, OK, uh, Home Alone and Sylvester Stallone. Home Alone, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Is correct. Well done, Venezuela. Nicely done. Next two. What is this? And what is the title of this song? Who needs friends who never show? I'll tell you what you want to know. I could have saved a broken heart if I found out long ago. Nobody. <laughs> Do you know what that is? <laughs> Could be is that it's going to be like Tangerine and Dream or, or Tangerine and something. It's a Satsuma. It's a Satsuma. Satsuma. How do you know the difference? The way I work out the difference is, does it rhyme with I Heard a Rumour by Banana Rama? That's, uh, that's, uh, that's how I yeah. work it out. OK. <laughs> uh, Benny? Oh, Satsuma. Satsuma. <laughs> I Heard a Rumour. Is the correct answer. <laughs> Very well done. That's a strategy we haven't thought of before. I like that strategy. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I get, if you buzz in, you buzz in, I yeah. guess. Uh, it is Satsuma and I Heard a Rumour by Banana Rama. Does not rhyme in all accents. I accept that, but uh, it's uh, Satsuma. I heard a rumor. Next two. Location of Father Christmas's workshop. Animated canine rescue team. Yes, Harry. North Pole Paw Patrol. North Pole Paw Patrol. Oh. Correct. Very good. Well played. Uh, final question. What is this? And what is the title of this song? I remember when rock was Harry. Alarm clock, crocodile rock. Alarm clock, crocodile rock. Absolutely right, Harry. Well played. Nicely done. That's the end of that round. Do you remember, like, four minutes ago when Harry and Bemmy were saying, uh, my quizzing skills, poor. I would say very... <laughs> yeah. actually, actually Average worse to than poor. poor. <laughs> Average to poor. Anyway, bear that in mind as we look at our leaderboard, which has Hugh yet to get off the mark, Kerry with one, Bemma Sola with two, Harry with four. How about that? That's what happens when McFly come on the show. I told you. I kept telling you, get me someone from McFly. <laughs> Definitely all four of them. OK? I told you it would be good. Shall we get on and play a pairs game? Yes. Our first pairs game this week is... <laughs> Distinctly Average. Hugh, you're in fourth place, so you get to choose your partner in this round. Who would you like to play with? Uh, I... Well... Harry, I think. <laughs> but, but, but why? why? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Harry and Kerry, if you could uh, swap seats, please. <clears throat> yeah. So Harry and Hugh are a team, Bebba Sola and Kerry are a team. Tablets out, please, everybody. Uh, I will ask you a question. It will need a number as an answer, and I will take the average of each pair as their answer, OK? Your first question is this. How many people in the UK have never used the internet? Ah, huh. according to the Office of National Statistics. 2020 was the last time they had those figures. Whoa. Mm. How many people have never used the internet? I suppose you need to have a sense of how many people there are. It's about 70 million odd. OK. In the UK. Actually, this is just people 16 and over, so it's probably about 60 million. What do you reckon at home on this one? Anyone at home has never used it? Everyone is in. Kerry, where do we start with this one? I've gone for two million. Two million. Uh, mm. Bema Solo, what are you saying? 4.2 million. 4.2 million. Yeah. Not crazily apart. Mm. Your average is 3.1 million people. That sounds reasonable, mm. doesn't it? I think so. Yeah. Hugh, does that sound reasonable well, to you? Yeah. No, I've I've gone for four million, but I had a problem with the million there. I, my, <laughs> my pencil went mad. <laughs> no. um, Harry, up or down from four million? Uh, I went down. I went for three million. Three million. We're all thinking similar things, though, are we not? So yeah. three and a half million is your average. So the averages are very close, 3.1, 3.5. What do you reckon at home on this one? 
How many people in the UK have never used the internet and who scored the point? Oh, that's, look at that. That's wow. very close, everybody. Very close. 3.36 million. It's just Harry and Hugh winning the point. Well done. Mm. Well played, everyone. Someone in my ear just said almost every single person under the age of 64 had used the internet. Mm. So it's, it's, largely, it's largely 64 plus mm. have never used it. Uh, should we do another one? Yep. Our next question is this. How many days did Roald Amundsen trek in 1911 to become the first person to reach the South Pole? Starting on the coast of Antarctica to reaching the South Pole. Can I ask a really, really or, you know, stupid question? Yeah. It's just there, right, to reach the South Pole, because then he had to come back as well. It's just to get there. Yes, just to get there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is in. Hugh, what do you reckon on this? I seem to remember that... So he had a race with Scott, didn't he? Yes. Yeah, and Scott went very slowly and yeah. didn't make it, and Amundsen went very fast. And did make it. Yeah, and Scott used horses, Amundsen used dogs. So uh, I think... He used a motorbike. A, a motorbike <laughs> yeah. and an aeroplane. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, he used so power, I think really. he's completely, completely <laughs> wrong, but I think he did it in about 24, 25 24 days. days. Doesn't sound crazy, yeah. does it? Um, <laughs> Harry, <laughs> what do you, oh, oh, I got maybe, maybe it sounds crazy. Depends. No, I just Let's find out. Okay. No, uh, but I, it could be completely wrong. Harry, up um, or down from that? According to my uh, limited knowledge, it took nearly double the time. Um, but I went 52. It's just a guess. Why not? 24 looks reasonable. 52 looks reasonable. Yeah. And the average. 38 also looks reasonable. Yeah. Um, Kerry, what have you said on this I've one? I've gone for 30 days. 30 days. Bemi, have you written a number that's substantially different <laughs> to everyone else's? Yes. I, I, I thought maybe that it was further away than maybe it was. I said 205 days. 205 days. You never know. It's a long old walk, that, <laughs> it's isn't it? It's really <laughs> long. Um, so your average is 117. So we've got 117, we've got 38. What do you reckon at home on this one? How many days did it take him? Who scored the point? 58. Harry oh, and Hugh okay, get the yeah. point. Harry, very close. With 52, 58 days. Final question in this round. How many feature films were eligible to receive Oscar nominations in 2023? Essentially, to be eligible, eligible, you have to have a running time over 40 minutes and to have opened at a commercial oh, uh, cinema. OK, so not necessarily nominated, eligible, no, to, eligible be nom to be nominated. eligible to be nominated, yeah, exactly that. Oh, gosh. All across the world? Uh-huh. Eligible? Yeah, all across the world, eligible. Good name for an album. <laughs> they have to have played at least once in a, in a US cinema, is the... Eligibility. Oh, they have to have played in a US cinema. Uh, like once, yeah, but often they'll just open things for a day just so they become eligible. I see. What do you reckon at home on this one? How many films are eligible? Bemi, we'll start with you. What's your thinking? Didn't use up enough of the screen. It looks odd, but 991. Yeah, that seems like a good starting Thanks. point. 991. Kerry, what are you saying? I've gone for 1,200. 1,200, so not, that's not that far off. far off at all. Uh, so your average is 1,095 and a half. Don't rate the chances of the half film. Mm -hmm. um, Hugh, what have you said? I've gone much smaller. OK. Oh, yeah, and I don't know why. <laughs> but I've gone for 350. 350, says yeah. Hugh and Harry. Uh, yeah, similar. I've gone 425. 425. So both teams sort of agreeing with each other in this round. Your average gentleman is 387 and a half. Uh, are you going to get three points out of three? Are we going to get a point down this end of the studio? I wonder how many feature films were eligible to receive Oscar nominations in 2023? 301. How about that? Harry and Hugh. Very nicely played in this round. That's annoying, isn't it? That's <laughs> really I think your answers were particularly bad at any point. Um, tablets away, please, everybody. Sorry. Harry and Kerry, if you will swap seats again, please. Lovely to see you, Kerry. Welcome back, Harry. Our leaderboard after two rounds looks like this. Kerry, you have one point. Bemisola, you have two. Hugh, you got three. That terrible quizzer, Harry Judd. He's got seven points. <laughs> How about that? Good start. Not bad Good going, start, is it? Yeah. Not bad going. Um, our next round is... 
two clues in one. Fingers on buzzers, please, everybody. I will give you a category. Your first category is British pop groups. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll show you some clues to British pop groups. The clues also have the same initials as the answer. Here's your first one. Appleton Sisters. Yes, Harry. All Saints. That's the right answer. Well done. Um, next one. Three Lions songwriter. Yes, Harry. The Lightning Seeds. The Lightning Seeds. Correct. Well played. Uh, next British pop group. Po-faced synthesizer blokes. Yes, Harry. Pet Shop Boys. Pet Shop Boys is the right answer. Well played, Harry. He's doing well, isn't he, Harry? Uh, <laughs> He's next no good category. at quizzes. That's the interesting yeah, thing. I said average, guys. I said average. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Your next category is Elvis Presley songs. They will have the same initials as the clues. Jiving reformatory. Yes, you. Channel House Rock. Channel House Rock. There we go. Absolutely. Next one. Hopelessness Hostel. Yes, that is Heartbreak you. Hotel. Heartbreak Hotel. Did you say Heartbreak Hotel in, like, I'm going to do the third one as well? You did it, like, the second in a list. OK, well, wait a second. you were going to give. <laughs> <laughs> Heartbreak Hotel. Yeah, so the next and... will be uh, Suspicious Minds, almost certainly. Oh, hello. Oh, I wonder. That's quite exciting if it is. Yeah. Let's take a look. Your next clue. Subconscious mistrust. <gasps> Whoa! Subconscious mistrust. Yeah, suspicious minds. I mean, you didn't buzz in. Oh, didn't but... I didn't. I thought. No, I had... Harry did. Suspicious oh, minds. Suspicious <laughs> minds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. Oh no! Wow. Keep up. Oh, what a disaster! Almost tempted to give you a witchcraft point there, Hugh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well played, Harry. Next category is festive films. That Michael Caine's cranky. Oh, no. Yes, Harry. Uh, nope, if you buzz that, it, not, yeah. The, Anybody the, else? Time you out. Yes, Kerry. The Muppet Christmas Carol. It's the right answer. Well done. The Muppet Christmas Carol. Next one. Gizmo. Yes, that's Bemmy. Gremlins. Gremlins. Correct. Uh, final question in this round. Linked Affairs. Bemmy. Love Actually. Love Actually. Well Great. End of the round. Very well played. It is Love Actually. The round ends there. Let's take a look at what it's done to our scoreboard on the first day of the week for House of Games. Kerry, you have two. Bemma Sola, four. Hugh, five. Harry Judd, 11 points. Six-point lead with two rounds to go. It's a nice lead to have. Our next round today is... Where is Kazakhstan? If you take your tablets out, please, everyone. Now, we're going to show you a map. And today's map looks like this. The UK and Ireland. That's nice. And I wonder if you could find the following. First thing I'd like you to find is... The historic dockyard that contains the Mary Rose Museum and HMS Victory. Where is that on your map? Hugh, you and I were old enough that we were at school when they when they dreaded, the Mary yeah. Rose. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. It was like a big thing, right? <laughs> I was on the Mary Rose. So well, when, when, they, survived, when, yeah. when they dug it up? Yeah, and swam. Oh, did you? Nice. Yeah, right. I've never been. Have you been? Yeah. Don't, don't say where it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Harry, have you been to the Mary Rose Museum? I haven't, no. Do you know where it might be? I've no idea. I've gone for... I, I feel what is the obvious guess. OK. Down south. <laughs> Yeah, in... absolutely, down south. Kind of yeah. Hampshire-y. Um, bear me, what are you thinking here? The only dockyard area that I sort of know, I was thinking, like, Gr Greenwich, that sort of yeah. Greenwich place. I know there was a big sort of ship, so I said London. So I'm not sure London? if I've put London in the right place either. More Cambridge, Cambridge. Cambridge. Okay. Yeah. Than, than London, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's OK. Um, Hugh, what are you saying here? Well, it, I know that it's in Portsmouth. Oh, hello. And Portsmouth is just north of the Isle of Wight, so it's just to the right 
marginally overlapping with Harry and slightly to the right. Oof. Wow, I love how close you were there, Harry, and Hughes just going, yes, and it's, it's just marginally to the right. a little bit to the right. <laughs> um, to you the better right. be right now, Harry. you sound very confident. Harry has slightly embarrassed himself there with where, <laughs> where he imagines Portsmouth to be. Um, oh, Harry's moved Portsmouth 15 miles to the left. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Uh, Kerry, did you know this one? I didn't know. I sort of thought maybe it's Liverpool because of famous dockyard, and then I opted for London. Same to me, I just was like a London dockyard somewhere. There we go. Yeah, sort of North London, Essexy sort of area. <laughs> it's in Portsmouth, that's for sure. So the quiz, it's going to be quite close, I think, between Hugh and Harry. Hugh sounded very confident that you put Portsmouth yeah, in the wrong again, place. Again, I often sound very confident. And he's, he's, again, he's, I'm wrong. It's half the battle sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, so who has won the point? Who is closer to Portsmouth? Hugh, you are bang on. Very well done. Your confidence was justified. Yeah, very good. Point to Hugh Dennis. The next thing I'd love you to find is this. The town it's a long way to, according to the title of a music hall song, by Jack Judge. Where is it a long way to? Um, Bemi, we start with you. Do, you. do you know the song? Well, I know it's Tipperary. Do you know where Tipperary is? No, I just put somewhere that's a long way to. That's Shetland. <laughs> that is Shetland. OK. Which is a long way. Um, Hugh. I think it's on the west coast of Ireland somewhere, but I wasn't quite sure where, so I've gone sort of uh, a third of the way up. County Kerry there. And, oh, hello, Kerry. I also knew it was in Ireland, but I didn't know where in Ireland, so I just put my mark smack in the middle of Ireland. That's clever. Give yourself the best chance. Kind of Galway, Offaly, bordery sort of thing. Uh, Harry, what are you saying? It's similar logic. <laughs> um, just tip of where it's a long way away. Long so way I away. went the opposite, though. I went... I, I, I sort of said it in different accents. Um, OK. Irish sounded <laughs> the most convincing. Well done. Yeah. I should have done that. Yeah, just yeah. in Cork yeah. there. Um, it is Tipperary. I mean, I like your thinking, <laughs> but it is in Ireland. But where in Ireland is it and who scored the point? Ooh. Kerry scores the point. Oh, what well a hey. Kerry. Wow. <laughs> I'm being told you are 12 pixels further away, Hugh. Wow. 12 pixels. Yeah. yeah and well, honestly, if you hadn't been quite so pernickety about where Portsmouth was, I might give you oh, half no. a point. <laughs> but, uh, uh, final question in this round. Find me this, please. The town that gives its name to the constituency for which Rishi Sunak was elected as an MP in 2015. Do you know this one at home? What do you reckon? Hugh, do you know the answer to this one? Well, I know he's the MP for Richmond in North Yorkshire. Mm. Oh, yes. So, uh, so I've put it just to sort of just above the river that sticks in on the there. There you go. OK. Yeah, Yorkshire. -y. Uh, Kerry, what were you thinking here? I didn't know what constituency he was, so I went with my island strategy where I just went in the middle of England. Oh, great. In Good the hope strategy. that it would be somewhere near. It worked for you last time. <laughs> Kind of Stoke on Trentish. Not um, near enough to Yorkshire. Well, we'll find out. Because <laughs> you might be wrong, don't forget. <laughs> Harry, what have you gone for? I uh, definitely wrong, uh, but I seem I do remember him repeatedly telling everyone that his dad was a chemist down in like Southampton or Portsmouth. Oh, yes. He sort of liked that line. Yeah. And I didn't think about the whole being elected as an MP, so I went down south again, but it's it's wrong. <laughs> That's yeah, where you put your, that's where the uh, Mary Rose is. Yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Bemi, any thoughts on this? No, no thoughts whatsoever. I just went <clears throat> and, and, and shoved an X there somewhere. There we go. Sort of leicester -y sort of area there. Now, Rishi Sunak is the MP for Richmond. It's in North Yorkshire. Has Hugh got closest? He has got closest. Well done, Hugh. Nicely done. Tablets away, please, everybody. Our leaderboard looks like this. Harry Jard was six points clear. He is now four points clear. That's what makes it interesting for the final round. Kerry with three, Bemisola with four, Hugh with seven, Harry with 11. <laughs> One more round to go. It's the round we play in the final round every single day, and it's called... 
answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, you get a point for a correct answer. Don't forget, you mm. lose a point if you buzz in and give me an incorrect okay. answer. It's oh. the only time in House of Games you can lose a point. Okay. Harry's got a four-point lead. Can he keep hold of it? Your first category is party supplies. Those will be the pictures. There'll be a clue above. Smash the answer to the clue into the picture. Which song was a UK Top 40 hit for Joy Division in 1980? Harry. Love will tear us apart, Popper. He is absolutely right. Well done. Love will tear us apart and party popper. Next clue, next picture. What rhyming term denotes the off-field area to which a rugby player is sent after being shown a yellow card? Yes, you. Sin bin invitation. It is sin bin an invitation. It becomes sin bin invitation. Next one. Which band has had UK top 40 hits called I Write Sins, Not Tragedies and High Hopes? Yes, Harry. Panic at the Disco Ball. It is correct. Panic at the Disco, disco Ball. Nicely played. Next category. Festive items. Which historian, whose father, Peter, is also a broadcaster, presented the 2022 Channel 5 documentary Into Dinosaur Valley? ESU. John Snowdome. Is incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh, you lose man. a point. Nobody, let's take a look. Dan Snowglobe. Dan Snow, Snowglobe, Dan Snowglobe. Next clue, next picture. Which curved yellow tropical fruit grows in clusters called bunches or hands? Yes, Kerry. Banana nativity scene. Absolutely right. Banana nativity, banana nativity scene. Um, any more? Better name for banana. Did you say it's a better name for banana rama? <laughs> <laughs> what are we called? Banana nativity. That's our first day done. Who knows what day of the week it is. Uh, but we have our first champion of the week. He was ahead going into it. He played very well during it. Our first winner of the week, Mr Harry Judd. Well played, Harry. Um, Harry, you've won a prize. Which of these would you like? Hmm. 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 I know, when you've actually got to take one, you're like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking which is a good... Uh, Regift. Yes. Yeah. Oh that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to go for the slippers. The slippers. Yeah, I, Harry I like Judd the slippers, yeah. wins the House Against Festive Slippers. Well played, Harry. Our first weekly leaderboard looks like this. Harry up the top of it, of course. But four more days to go. We've got double points final day as well. So the, the scores change a lot on this show. Thank you so much. Lovely to have you all here. See you again tomorrow. See you again tomorrow as well on the House of Games. I mean, you say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're nice. Yeah, they're good, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, they do, yeah.